Welcome to Nevada State College's annual holiday story reading. Scotty, Duvall, Amanda. <laughs> Great. Thanks for all for being here. That story is the night before groundbreaking. Twas the night before groundbreaking when all through the college not a student was stirring or seeking new knowledge. The backpacks were hung by the students with care in hopes that on return more parking spots would be there. Most students were sleepy, but none touched their beds, while visions of new buildings danced in their heads. And Provost Beck in her stilettos and I in my tie had just settled our brains for a short winter's goodbye. When out in the parking lot there arose such a clatter, I sprang from Dean Kuniyuki's office to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the blinds and threw up the latch, when what to my wondering eyes did appear, but heavy equipment and eight tiny operators. With a little old driver so full of zeal, I knew in a moment it must be Vice President Neal. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Harris, now Navaretti. Professors Wirtz and Shearer, on Regents, on Chancellor, on Doctors Cabetti and Raker, to the base of Mount Scorpion beyond the Great Hall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the backpacks, then turned with a jerk and a, with a nod to Scotty and President Dorsey and the rest of the student team. He charted the food service and study spaces of their dreams. He then sprang to his heavy equipment, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, we'll be back in the spring to make the NSC campus look tight. <laughs> Happy holidays everyone from Nevada State College. Be bold, be great, be safe.